Hey y'all, Texas Taterbug here. Now, I might have lied to you. It turns out I'm probably going to be answering a space question about once per day. So the question that I've gotten today is, uh, well, basically the misconception that I'm getting is that what's actually happening when the SpaceX Falcon 9 or the LA Atlas V is taking a vehicle, um, is taking a satellite out into space, it's actually going all the way out into a geostationary orbit. Um, on these uh, on these launches um, under these higher powers headed out into these geostationary orbits and that's actually not what's happening. A geostationary transfer orbit is not the same thing as a geostationary orbit so let's talk about that briefly. Um, I've got some props here. I have the earth. If this looks like a skateboard wheel on a drumstick, it's a skateboard wheel on a drumstick. I also have our satellite and launch vehicle together and what people think is going on First off, let's get the, the, the uh, vocabulary correct. So, so a geostationary orbit is very specifically an orbit that is encircling the Earth at exactly the same rate as the Earth is moving. And therefore, our satellite is going to be exactly the same point over the Earth's surface at all times. And that can only happen at the equator. Now, a, a little bit different from that, a, ge uh, a geosynchronous orbit is any, any, is any orbit where um, we're, we're kind of close, the, the vehicle is traveling at a speed that keeps it over roughly the same space over the Earth's surface. So a geostationary transfer orbit is something very different than that. And so what, what I think people think is going on is that Falcon 9 or the LA Atlas V is taking off and taking the satellite all the way out into that orbit, right? Well, that orbit is a long, long way away, folks, all right? It's like 22,000 miles away or something, all right? So, so that's not what's going on here, all right? I mean, the, the space station's like here, and geostationary orbit's like there. So, so we're not putting stuff way out there um, with these GTOs, these geostationary transfer orbits. What's actually going on is, is something different. So let's talk about that. So our space vehicle takes off, Atlas V, Falcon 9, whatever it happens to be, and it starts to accelerate and it, and it gets into that stage two. That second stage is going to carry this um, out to where it releases it, probably somewhere like here, and it sends it off into this very elliptical orbit. So now our satellite is traveling in this very elliptical orbit. The perigee of the orbit is somewhere down around where it was released and the apogee of that orbit is out here 22,000 miles or so at the actual uh, point where we're going to be in that geostationary orbit. So what's going to go on is that is the satellite itself, this guy out here, actually has its own internal power and it's going to power itself over several orbits from that very elliptical orbit into something that's more circular until eventually it is traveling around the Earth at exactly the same rate that the Earth is spinning. And at that point, it's somewhere like 22,000 miles out, and it's going like like a little less than two miles per second or something ridiculously fast. Anyway, so I, I want you to understand the difference. I hope that you do from this video. If you have any other questions uh, that come up, please leave those in the comments for me. I'd love to try and answer those. And if, if you're wondering, like, you know, that I skipped something or didn't explain something well then please let me know that as well and if you're liking these videos let me know that if you're interested in seeing more videos like these then please subscribe and I hope you uh, have a wonderful day I hope you get out there and learn something today